everybody. I'm here to do a quick introduction and follow-up to a video I filmed several months ago. It was back when I went to YouTube Next Step, and so I didn't want the footage to go to waste. It was originally supposed to be a collaboration, but it didn't work out. So anyways, I didn't want to waste the footage because I shot it in the Tastemade Studios, which was great. That is a gardener. You know, nap time and gardening, there's something, there's something that aligns, like the moons and the planetary things align and and this happens so yeah. I lost my train of thought what was I saying right I didn't want this footage to go to waste because it's a tutorial on how to make a bento so a bento box is the Japanese word for a kind of a lunch box that people take to uh, or or moms make them for their kids and send them off to school so this was just a really simple bento box tutorial there's a million different permutations on how to make a bento box and uh, depending on how how you guys like this video I might be able to do some of those in the future and uh, yeah so here it is apologies for the awkward kind of after yeah the awkward setup <laughs> it's not my usual setup but that's the way things go we gotta roll with the punches you know that's kind of how life goes a little bit of life advice um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you back here after the tasting okay Using the measuring cup that came with a rice cooker, measure out the appropriate amount of rice and then wash with regular tap water, usually about three times or until the water runs clear. Add water to the line corresponding to the number of cups you used of rice. Place the pot of rice into the cooker and press to cook. Once the rice is done cooking, use a spatula to fluff it. Here are some of the ingredients I'm using for my bento, cooked edamame, hijiki salad, cherry tomatoes, little sausages, and some nori. To make the sausage octopus, take your sausage and cut it lengthwise, about two-thirds of the way up the sausage, into eight long segments. Then place your prepared sausages into a hot pan on medium heat and cook them until they start to open up and begin to look like little octopi. Next, we just have to assemble the bento, and then I'm using some silicone liners here to put in my side dishes. Here are some cooked edamame and a cherry tomato. Next come the little sausages and some prepared hijiki salad that I bought at the supermarket. But here is an opportunity for you to be creative. You can add anything you like, potato salad or sliced vegetables, whatever you think would be delicious in your lunch. Here I'm showing you quickly how to shape an onigiri. These are small ones. Just dampen your hands with water and shape them into a triangle like this. You can add fillings if you like. I have a tutorial on how to make onigiri. I'll put the link down below. This is the last part of the assembly. I'm just adding the rice balls to the top of my box. And you certainly could pack them separately if you like. And then lock on the top, add a pair of chopsticks and a cold pack, and you're all set. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Tastes like rice. <laughs> That's pretty uneventful. I'm gonna have a bite with them to Minori. Mmm! Much better. And that was good. The nori really makes it. You can't just have plain rice. And I'm gonna try the little octopus. So you can make these a little bit more elaborate and you can add a couple black sesame seeds for eyes, but I didn't bother today. But that would make them extra cute if you give them a little face. But here we go. Now that, with the onigiri, I think would be perfect. Because that's nice and salty, and that's kind of just neutrally and plain. So I think together it would be a great combination. But that just tastes like a hot dog. You know, really not that exciting, but super cute. And edamame. Edamame are just um, green soybeans. So the way I eat them is I just kind of put the end in my mouth and I just squeeze the edamame bean into my mouth. It's a lot of fun. And that's it. They kind of just pop out like that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on camera. The bean just pops out. And they're a great, really healthy, protein-filled snack. Super yummy. And lastly, I'll try the hijiki. And um, I'll do a follow-up recipe on how to make this yourself. Um, it's pretty simple, but I just bought it store-bought. But here we go. Yum. So sweet and savory, very umami, kind of uh, salty, but definitely sweet. And tastes very briny, kind of like the ocean. And again, 
perfect with the onigiri. So I'm gonna have one more bite. And there you go. An everyday simple bento box. Okay, so we're back and and the planetary bodies are still aligned and there's still, you know, planetary music going on. That's what that is. That's not that's not a leaf blower. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the bento tutorial. And because I'm celebrating 100, over 100,000 subscribers, I can't believe it. I remember back in the day when I had 10 subscribers, or, and I would click and see if there's any difference. I would reply to every single comment because I was just saying, please, please share with me. And now I'm at 100,000. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, so as a thank you, I'm going to do a little giveaway. So this is your own little bento starter. It's not a box, but... Here are some liners, some bento liners um, for your little condiments inside dishes. These are some cute toothpicks, decorative cute animal toothpick things, um, which you can stab in your eggs and your um, cutlets to make them look adorable. And then this is a nori puncher. So you can use this to punch out your nori and have little faces and decorate your onigiri with faces. How adorable. So I'm going to give away three of these little starter bento kits and all you have to do, well three sets, so you get all of this in one set. So all you got to do is leave a comment below and in one week I will make a follow-up video and use random.org to choose three winners of a bento starter kit. And yeah, that's all I have to do. It's a little thank you to you guys for sticking with me and yeah, for supporting me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you in the next video. Ciao! That sounds a bit like a mating call. Right? Like an elk bugle. Right? <laughs>